Today marks the Jewish holiday of Purim, when the evil Persian vizier Haman instigated a plot to kill every single Jew who lived in the Persian Empire. It is ironic that today of all days we are talking about hate-sponsored rallies, including Al-Quds Day, an event inspired by the brutal and terrorist Iranian regime under Ayatollah Khomeini. The Jewish community feels targeted by this rally. Individuals who uh, fled the Iranian regime feel targeted by this rally and by similar type rhetoric out there in society. So this is an important issue and we ask the executive committee to treat it seriously. There is no discussion of possible recovery of costs for the city in this report for action. We all deserve to know the answer to this important question, as it is essential in plotting out a pathway forward to dealing with rogue hate rallies in the City of Toronto, particularly those which bypass the city permitting process, put those who do not play by the rules at a financial advantage, and fail to comply with city bylaws and the city's anti-discrimination policy. The reason for the absence of any allegation, let alone conviction, by the police is because no hate crime has ever been committed at an Al-Quds Day rally in Toronto. There's no anti-Semitism. I have never heard anything anti-Semitic at any of these events. This motion is looking in the wrong direction for hate speech. The only reason we're here is because Mr. Pasternak does not want the public to talk about Israel. I think the fact that you called our, our efforts to tighten up our anti-discrimination policy racist is disgraceful. Are you denying, you know, through this affidavit and through your, uh, your deputation here today, that all of what has been written, and, and there's quite a bit that has, where people have taken the trouble to transcribe uh, things that have been said by speakers at these rallies in uh, Arabic or other languages so they had to be translated in English. Are you saying none of that ever happened and that all of those transcriptions done by various people over time are just never happened and are false? You know, it isn't good enough to say somebody was standing over in the corner and they weren't really an official speaker even though they had the microphone. I think we have to do better than that, and I think we have to do better than that, especially in public spaces, but especially in this city.